folks. I'm excited today. We've got our hands on a Remington 783 youth model in a 243 caliber. Now, at first glance, I love this olive color. Uh, or this desert tan, whichever you want to call it. I really liked it. Uh, first off, I noticed this hand grip on the front. It really fits your hand really well. It's got a nice grip on the back, as you can see. I like that grip. I like this butt stock. It's really padded and really soft. The bolt on this thing from the factory is smoother than a lot of different rifles that uh, I've put my hands on, brand new out of the box. Uh, I like this bolt. I like the flat tip. It operates really quickly, really easy. The safety. Uh, safety's fairly smooth. I've seen better. Uh, but it's not too bad. It's not too stiff. The trigger. We have an empty weapon. The trigger. Is it like an Accu trigger? Tr Accu trigger. It is very smooth breaks really well uh, smooth trigger I like that trigger as I said earlier this is a youth model I chose the youth model because this weapon is going to be a birthday present for my daughter here in just a few weeks Shh, don't tell her it's supposed to be a secret so this weapon also has a 20 inch barrel and it has because it's a youth model it has a 12 and a half inch length of pull from here to here most youth models have a shorter length of pull so younger folks and women can handle it a little bit better that's why i chose the youth model her arms is a little shorter so the length of pull is shorter so she can get her eye closer to the scope now she shoots my other Remington 700 fairly well it's uh, got a 24 inch barrel it's a little bit longer a little bit heavier on the end but I think she'll like this weapon a lot better I chose the 243 caliber because it does not have a lot of kick I think the foot pounds is roughly seven and a half maybe eight I think 30 out six is about 15 and uh, almost went with a 308, but 308 still had the right good punch. So chose the smaller caliber for youth and women. It doesn't kick as bad, so therefore, hopefully they won't have some trigger jerk on the weapon. So all in all, uh, can't say a lot about the scope. The scope is uh, pretty much El Cheapo. That would be the only thing on this rifle that I would change. I like the. Sh it handles great. It's short in your hands. It's very quick, very quick to shoulder, very quick to eye relief, even for a big guy like me. I'm 6'3", and uh, I could shoot this weapon very easily. Hey guys, another great feature about this weapon. It has a detachable magazine. Take your bullets right out, slide them back in, leave it loaded, leave it in your seat. Snap it back in, bolt around, hey you're hunting like that feature also anyway hey let's go shoot it hey we're gonna shoot this brand new 783 Remington all right as always eyes and ears You know, the first thing I noticed about this weapon when I fired it is the trigger pull. It's clean, crisp, it's got a great trigger pull on it. Oh, uh, that's a nice feature. It's really a good feeling gun uh, to shoot. So I fired a few rounds, 
dialed it around. Uh, it was fairly close. I moved the scope the wrong way the first two times, uh, as usual. So, hey, mistakes happen. That's why it's very important to start at 25 yards. Now, I feel confident, and we're going to walk the camera down, and I'm going to show you the last two rounds that I've So, seen. we've got ourselves moved. Uh, we had to move back some and then move the target out to achieve uh, 100 yards. Anyway, we're going to fire this first round, and we'll walk down and see where it is. And I think I'm going to uh, go ahead, uh, just for, because we have time constraints, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire this first one. And if it's, fairly, if it's on the paper fairly close, I'm going to go ahead and fire two more follow-up shots just to see what kind of group we get with this Remington Corlock ammunition. And then we'll switch over to the Winchester ammo and we'll see what kind of uh, pattern we get with that. Anyway, let's try it out. Well, as you can see, I'm about an inch and a half high at 100. Yeah, a little bit to the right. Anyway, I'll take it. I'm gonna see in the video, we're about two inches high, a little off to the right. And uh, I'm going to fire two more rounds with this Remington ammo just to kind of see what kind of pattern we're getting out of this rifle. So all in all, I feel good about uh, where it hit. And uh, let's see how much better we can, uh, we can do. I don't know, I didn't feel real good about that shot. I felt like I might have jerked a little bit. Anyway, let's go see what we did. Now, that is uh, a five-eighths of an inch group at 100 yards, three-shot group. I'm impressed. So instead of, I'm getting ready to go shoot the other ammo now, so instead, I'm going to just mark these holes here. You can see them, that's the first three shots. Uh, Remington ammo, doing a good job. I'm going to shoot the uh, Winchester ammo now, see how it does. Let's try this Winchester ammo. We've got a sub MOA uh, group right now out of this. Remington ammo. So let's see how the Winchester ammo shoots in this. I love it, Trigger. Let's go down and take a look. <clears throat> so, that's not too bad. This pattern right here. Uh, barrel getting a little hotter. That is inch and a quarter inch group. Not a bad group. I would say the Remington ammo likes a Remington gun. What do you think? So I think we'll shoot the Remington ammo. I don't think we would have an issue with shooting this Winchester ammo, but that definitely is the better group. Enjoyed making this video for you. Hey, remember, it's a wildlife. 